Did you know that to be more productive and less distracted, it's critical to get your environment right? This is even more important than willpower as shown by James Clear from Atomic Habits. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm Amy, nice to meet you. Welcome to my humble workspace. Today, we're gonna go over five ways to optimize your study space with a tour of my area. Let's go. Your environment can be linked with your psychology. So we have to get ourselves in what I call ready position. You can study in places like your dorm room, your bedroom, or the library, but make sure it's not in your bed and not on your couch because then your mind is not thinking that it's time to be productive. Huge thanks to FlexiSpot for my dream desk. I have back pain. Previously, my standing desks were made with just like, boxes stacked on top of each other. So I'm really excited to have this baby right here. Standing is not only good for your back and your posture, but also because it takes a little more effort and energy to stay upright, then you're more in the zone. And I feel like I'm more focused in whatever setup you have, make sure it's in harmony with your body. This was super easy to assemble. It just took three steps. Sean helped me, of course. And there are, <laughs> sorry. And there are several settings you can have on here. Down, well, kind of obvious. That makes it go down. Click a number, then it'll go to whatever height you typically like. This is also convenient because it has these USB ports. This one I'm using right now to charge my little Shiba Inu, I mean, uh, AirPods. <laughs> Definitely a great gift option because you're giving someone the gift of health. I think that when we're spending money, something I've learned to really prioritize is investing in yourself, which is kind of like I said in my top 1% video, where you're spending money to make money indirectly. Lighter colors are great because they make the space seem larger than it actually is, and it's more mood boosting. If you're not standing, Please. you can use this ergonomic chair, also from FlexiSpot. It's really spacious because I like to cross my legs when working, a more natural position for your body. Everything is adjustable. Like you can tilt, pull these up. Oops. Oh, see, pull these up or down. <laughs> It has this headrest. <laughs> when I take turns between sitting and standing, it gives lumbar support. All right, who likes studying? Raise your hand. Not me. Fight. So to be more productive, we need to create excitement to start. I really love listening to music, like really high energy, like gym workout music, especially when I'm doing math or something where I don't have to be paying attention to English all the time. And at Caltech, when I knew that going back to do homework meant I could have my headphones on and jam out to music. I was actually excited to start homework. So to set up your environment optimally, have something you're excited about to use at your space. For me, that's these headphones. And you want to couple something you enjoy with that thing you don't like, which is study. You can add aesthetic lights to your space, pretty decorations. You can also use an aesthetic, fun, digital planner like my Notion template. What's one thing you love doing and why does that make you excited to start? Can you incorporate that somehow into your study area? Number three, consider your habitat, which is lighting and temperature. So I like to sit next to a window to get that natural lighting. This way you feel you're one with the world. You're not just locked in a basement working like a robot, you know? And then your body can also sense approximately what time of day it is. So then your circadian rhythms are in balance. Cold colored lighting actually increases concentration. And I like using this one because you can adjust the brightness. When it gets hot, it's easier to doze off. So according to other studies, the best temperature to work at is about 21 to 23 degrees Celsius. You might just want to experiment a little, be your own scientist and find what works for you to stay focused. Number four in your environment is what I call frustration fighters. Don't expect to never be distracted. It's completely normal, but I get it still feels bad. For me, when I get distracted, it's not so much the distraction that makes me upset, but it's because then I get frustrated at myself being distracted. I feel that I've wasted time. I suggest you get some positivity into your space. Like I write this mm, encouraging note to myself. It says, you're important. Do things worth your time. Benefit you. Keep being amazing. Wow. If I see it, then I'm more fired up. It's a nice note for my past self 
and I can get back to work. To prevent the distraction in the first place, I always, always recommend that you have your phone away from your study space. So I have it over here protected by my little panda and RJ. If you have a pet and they're in your environment, they can be very calming. Just make sure, you know, the cat doesn't delete your work or something if it steps on your keyboard. <laughs> Things like a pet next to you, it's more likely you're going to spend your break in a more effective way versus just scrolling on your phone. When I have a thought or idea that comes up, instead of just letting it bubble in my head and multitasking, thinking about that in my work, I will brain dump the idea into Notion or my iCloud notes. So what I suggest is that you have either on your computer or a notebook next to you to just scribble down all the things you think of so you can give your full attention to studying and after studying then worry about what your brain came up with. Five is visible progress. It's really motivating and inspiring to yourself to have a visual where you can clearly see what you need to do next and the progress that you've already made. I use a very ugly checklist and whiteboards like these. But again, you can use something digital like my Notion digital planner. Bonus that I really like is that you need to make sure your area is stocked up with things that you like so you don't have to keep standing up to go get it. In this nifty drawer, I have my Burt's Bees chapstick, lotion, calculator, hard drive, my stickers. It's a want, not a need. Supplied, ready to go to war with my homework. This is also for <clears throat> relaxing. I have my blue light glasses. <laughs> and finally, I don't snack much, but I love drinking tea. You know, this makes me happy every time I taste the sweetness. Let me know if you like this style video by commenting below. Remember to check out my description for helpful links like flexi spots, ergonomic desk, and a chair. Give me a like and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to my wonderful filmer, Sean, whose arms are tired now, right? <laughs> Bye! Track your head. Ooh, tracking my head. Welcome to my desk setup. Oh, hey! <laughs> and not on your I believe I can fly. Andrew Huberman says that one of the best first things you can do when waking up is to get sunlight. Using that same kind of logic, it's good to have natural light when you're studying. <laughs>